Hmm. I wonder if there's any information on the purchase orders that will give me any more clues. Great. Here are some of the purchase orders. I will definitely be able to find valuable information about the materials used. Wow. I never thought I would actually find the evidence that our very own CEO would do such a thing to our customers. I think the right thing to do is to communicate everything I have found to Clark, our CEO. By effectively communicating and being transparent with Chris, we can avoid any issues and address the problem immediately. Hey Pauline, do you know where Clark is? He isn't in his office and we have our morning meeting. I haven't seen him and he hasn't come in yet. This is very odd. In all the years I have been here, he has never missed a meeting. Go check his paper calendar on his desk. Maybe he booked something in your slot. Marjorie, I am so sorry about what I did. You are only sorry because you got caught. Those customers trusted you. They trusted me and you just betrayed them and almost ruined my reputation. And on top of it, you couldn't even face what you did. So, you did God knows what all day long. Marjorie, listen. After realizing you found out and looking at it, I felt even more guilty and I had to make it right. That is where I've been all day. What do you mean? This morning, I took an installer with me in a truck and went to each customer's home who had an old cord, and I personally helped fix it. I wanted to make it right, Marjorie, and I came here when it was done to ask you, my old friend, if you would forgive me. I am proud of what you have done to fix it. You are not completely forgiven, but you have begun to make amends. Well, I will take that for now, and I want you to know that this won't happen again. 